Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing another product review for you guys. One I'm using for the first time today and the other is kind of an old favorite. You can get both of these at Target. So the first one is the TGIN Green Tea Super Moist Leave-In Conditioner. I wanted to try this because it was silicone free and I think she has a really great line. Like She does great formulations, I just don't use silicones. This was one of the few things in her line that doesn't have silicones. And she makes this great product, so I really please do a silicone free line for those of us on the Curly Girl Method. Here are the ingredients. And you can see that it's fairly simple, but it has all the good stuff. And I don't know if it's like she puts more honey than other people, but her stuff just really penetrates and moisturizes my hair really well. It's pretty thick and super creamy and a little goes a long way, which is great considering also that it's like I got this value size. This is the consistency. So it's pretty thick, um, but it really penetrates and moisturizes my hair really well. So you can see that. <laughs> so moisturizing, I want to use it like lotion. I'm like, girl, you're doing a demo, you're not putting on lotion, but, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> look at this. So it just, my strands felt just loved and covered and protected when I put it on. And my curls were really clumped and defined, so double yes. My first impression was just, yes, ma'am. This is the stuff. I was hesitant to try it because it didn't have aloe vera juice, so another humectant super high up. So I was like, hmm, it's kind of watered and a lot of butters and oils. Is it going to sit on my hair? But no, this is definitely penetrating. So I guess there's enough honey in there to help it penetrate. So all you low porosity gals, try this. Great for winter. Great for life. <laughs> Give it a try. I love it. It doesn't really stand out in terms of the scent, so I probably slightly don't like it. I don't know what it smells like, to tell the truth. I would have said almost like Eco Styler, which is weird because it's super natural. So I don't know why it smells like that. But the scent doesn't do much for me, but it's not horrible. And, and I didn't smell it while I was applying, so it's a really light scent. So, yeah. Can't really say anything bad about it. The only thing is the scent didn't make me go, mmm. -hmm, but other than that, moisture, definition, little goes a long way. Definitely did a great job on my hair. Definitely think I found a new winter staple. So I like to start off at my root. I know a lot of people start at their ends, but I kind of start at my root. So I'm trying not to put too much. So this is one of those um, leave-ins that I would feel comfortable just using by itself. I don't feel like I need to put a styler on top of it. It's kind of like a leave-in and styler in one. So if you like rich leave-ins or you like kind of all-for-one deals, <laughs> you can use this and just kind of have it be like a one product, wash and go and go on about your day. <laughs> and the result after applying the leave-in. And the second product, this is the one I've been using a while, or at least has been in my stash for a while. It's the Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic Curl Stimulator. Here are the ingredients. So it's a pretty standard great gel in terms of the ingredients. For some reason the gelling ingredient isn't listed here and I had like a major problem with them for that. I think they probably use xanthan gum based on the old version that they had that did have xanthan gum listed. But I don't see xanthan here in the ingredients. I don't see any gelling agent really here in the ingredients. So boo for that. So this is the texture. <laughs> it's really thick and snotty. You see that? <laughs> Looks kind of gross almost. So like it's not even dripping. It's just really thick and snotty. It is slimy and goopy and stuff like that. It really does a great job in terms of moisturizing my hair. So I love it. No crunch, of course. If I'm rating a gel, there's no crunch. So no crunch, soft, moisturizing, great hold, lasts for the week, great definition, elongation. If you like Camille Rose but wish it gave a little more definition, give this a try. It's probably the heaviest of the more natural gels that I know of. It has a light, fresh, slightly sweet scent, so I do like the scent of this. Definitely soft, moisturized, defined hair. I think it gives a bit more definition than the Camille Rose Curl Maker, but it's otherwise pretty similar. It's like no crunch. Super moisturized, super defined. I'm not mad at this gel at all. <laughs> so that's it. 
looks kind of flat right now but um, I'm gonna shake it out to kind of separate the curls you can see the clumping <laughs> so I just put those clips on so when I shake it doesn't really disturb the part so let's go with the shaking so yeah so the result <laughs> I like how soft and moisturized my hair is. So that was it and this is the result. This is what it looks like. <laughs> so I like it. I like the shape and you know, life <laughs> that it's given me. So this is like a little bit of a definition as you can see. The definition is pretty good. And definition. I'm liking my hair. I love having touchable hair so I love there's no crunch, soft, touchable hair. So that's it, yet another review. Let me know if you've tried these, let me know if you like them. I hope you enjoyed this review. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.